Are you ready? What's going on, guys? We are here for some mo Dragon Ball Dokkan, and today we're gonna cover Gotenks. We're gonna quickly come over, uh, go over his, his stats here and his, his passives and stuff. And uh, we've done it a couple times, so I'm not gonna waste too much time here. And then we would just go into game. Quickly. So special pose, uh, key four 170. Bleh, this category sucked balls. Youth, uh, HP attacks uh, 170, defense 130. It's not a bad category, however, it already has a good leader, so this does not really add much value. He greatly raises defense, 50% for one turn. Nice. He plus 100% attack and defense. And whereas we, we lost the rest of his pass, but you know what? They probably forgot to write it. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Transforms on turn three. Um, these were his links. Links are pretty decent. A um, lot of categories, right? This is probably the biggest thing that gives him some value is he's just on so many categories uh, and he is freely farmable which is always good uh, now we transform turn three greatly raised still 50 percent now we have a 70 percent chance to sun for two turns very very valuable it sucks that you have to wait till turn three to get this because in super battle road every turn counts so if you're waiting three turns to get to this um this passive this this you can you could lose before then where you can be hurt so much that you'll lose so this is uh it sucks to wait so long but it is extremely strong key plus two attacking defense 100 cool guaranteed then we roll the dice high chance at 50 percent attack high chance at an additional 50 percent attack which is a uh, 50 percent chance when it says high chance high chance defense 50 high, and then an additional defense 50. And then a medium chance of uh, launching uh, super attack, which is there you go, 25%. So you don't hold your breath for that one. So it's 50% chance for each. So it's not like it's 50% chance and both activate. That's what it should have been, at least if you wanted to make this RNG. I think it should have been attacking defense 100%, attacking defense 100% again. Sure, add this. No, add this one and this one. So give him another 100% attack and defense, and then maybe add us the secondary as a, a you know roll the dice chance. That would have made him so much better, and he would have aged well, and he would he wouldn't be outdated already. Because we're gonna you're gonna see his attack stats and defense stats besides them being random. Um, it's just not that impressive. Uh, transform 70% four turns from here. What? I don't know why. That's so long. It should have been from like the next turn. It should have been like blue fusions, right? He transforms here. Next time you see him, he you can you have the option to transform. Why it makes you wait is beyond me. Because it's not even like once you're here, it's like you know god tier where he just does extremely well for the whole event. He does extremely well. Attacking defense 100%. Attack 100% when performing super attack. Key plus three. Great chance of launching additional super attack for four turns. 70% chance to launch an additional. For four turns. So it's not like you get here and you're done. You don't have to worry about anything. He's perfect. You only have four turns and then he loses a bit of his passive. So you, you, don't, you don't want to transform him right away. You want to transform him so at least you can maximize this four turns. And not like... You don't want to transform him right when you hit... Um, Super Saiyan Tech God Goku because then you're not four turns away from winning so you're gonna lose that passive before you get to the end you know what I mean so don't know why they did that um, but he has a lot of links a lot of them change so because of that we have um, Dokkan Battle Web API pulled up best linking partners so uh, now realize just because they're they're here doesn't mean you're gonna use them right these guys are terrible you're not gonna use them. Um, this is who we're gonna use uh, he's also good, but I think he's better. Uh, I also have him built up. I don't have him built up. So, I mean, he could be better, I guess, built up. I don't. I never really got to play with him because I never farmed him up. I farmed him up instead because I, I have him rainbowed already. So, we have him as the partner for in base form. He can be the same person uh, once he turns Super Saiyan. Uh, he's really not good anymore, so I doubt you'd want to use him. So, either one of them still works. And then when he gets to Super Saiyan 3 is where it kind of sucks, right? Because you lose that because he changes his links like over in a flash and stuff. So now I'm going to bring him as the next best. He's still good. He still shares four links, but that new link, I think it's over in a flash, right? What happened? This website's been real buggy lately. Yeah, it's over in a flash, I think, and then limit breaking. Yeah, that changed. So then he becomes the best. So 
we are going to just cut in game. So we are going to actually this worked out not the worst so little trick that we're gonna pull so when you get this go tanks on turn three to transform the new one if he transforms on turn three if you off rotate him you get the option to transform at turn six instead of seven i believe this is not an error or a glitch or anything i think it's just the way, like, weird wording in the game so the way they word it oh we must have got his double defensive active yeah we must have see here he gets 40 percent when facing two or more yeah and he gets one key which is okay yeah so 121 defense he definitely got both defenses active at his pass but let's see the way it's worded right from the fourth turn after transformation so i believe the way that works is this counts as turn one and that's why it works that way so we're gonna do that though we can transform a bit early and you guys can see it actually works and see what kind of attacks that we get hopefully we don't kill boo well he's gonna heal after go tank so should be fine Nope, he is very, very, very dead. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, alright. So we're gonna end up not going to transform, that means. Because we haven't actually seen him in Super Saiyan at all. I actually was better off just keeping him on rotation, but I do like the idea for you guys to see this little gimmick. Or a, not gimmick, but I guess it's workaround. This would be very valuable in Super Battle World, keep in mind. Because Gotenks in base form, he does greatly raise his defense, but that's it. He actually offers nothing else to the team. So, um, yeah, let's keep Kid Boot on. With. What was I saying? Um, like in Super Battle Road, if you had Go Tanks, you would want to almost do this because you don't want him in base form. So if you started Super Battle Road and he was in slot 7, it's not the worst. Uh, assuming you have you know, other good units. If he's your best unit, obviously you'd want him. But if he's not, it's okay to actually have him in slot 7 because then he'll transform immediately when you get him like we just did. That would be actually go. Because uh, he is really good in Super Saiyan form with his chance to stun, but in base form he doesn't really do anything besides raise his own defense, which is valuable, but it's not like, you know, the reason you're going to win. Oh, counter. Oh my goodness. Monster. And nice, we have the transformation, which is good. You know what? I probably will transform him. No, we'll, we'll do one or two attacks and then we'll, we'll yeah, we'll, we'll do it like that. Um, okay, we do have, yeah, we're going to do that so we don't get clapped. He's fine. We'll push, yeah, we're going to push him off so they can actually, yep. We're not going to run through this whole event. It's, I think it's pointless. We're just going to get like one or... Now, with his RNG, actually, with his passive, let's try to get like three or four attacks, maybe, from Gotenks. So now we don't have Lynx active, just Kid Boo. But see that? Turn 6, I can transform. Damn it. But look, now we're only at 100k defense. Sure, Lynx is part of that, but not really. 
So we're gonna actually we're gonna have to throw Kid Boo off just to not get destroyed by this super attack. We do need to maintain HP. So that is important. Um I think I'm gonna do this. Well then that's fine. We'll just have Kid Boo come back around a bit. This'll be a nice heal. Thank you, Gohan. This should be fine. So 1.4. What? 1.4 with Kid Boo on rotation. Come on, man. Oh my god. So this is kind of you're not gonna I, I think I might have said this already. I don't think this go tanks was really worth it. For like most people. One unit, right? He's he's quirky. I got I got it, but was he worth like the stones? I don't I, I don't know man. Because like 1.4 from a transformed Dokkan Fest That's not it. Is not it. That, we, we do not need that. We need more. We need a lot more. Alright, now okay, now we'll see how he does with his links active. So we get 100k defense, 200 and I didn't look at his attack stat last time, we should have. Because then we could tell if his attack stat went up. Hmm. We're at 213k attack. With most links active. Who is higher? He is higher defense, so we'll put him in the front. We are gonna get hit hard though. Gohan didn't heal us. Wow. Oh, 30k from a normal. This is like yeah. <laughs> 1.7. So okay, so the attack stat actually doesn't calculate till in the game. Cause that's a lot higher even with links you couldn't give me that dodge before but look now we're taking you know very very little damage after we supers we took 30k from a normal that's like actually absurd yeah so not a slot one unit do that good heal good damage from him as well uh i do want that yeah i was gonna say i need to actually heal up because like i could get really clad at the end there nice um do we die with kid boo getting hit at the end there we're dead we're dead there's no way we're clearing this. <laughs> it's crazy. If we die, I'll just reset it. I think we die though. I don't think we make it out of this. We're not gonna do all those fucking bars of health. Four mil. I unless he doubles. Oh, we crit. Okay, we killed. Wow, we did a lot of damage. All right, we should be full health now. All right, almost full health. That's fine. Okay, so we are better now. Um, let's go for yeah, two thirteen. So his attack stat is not actually gonna change here. It changes when he actually does the super. One twenty one. I would say we we got one of the defense buffs, but probably the other one. I think we were at fifty percent last time, right? So let's see what we get now. One point seven again. Okay, so I think that might be both activating us the second time we got one point seven. Keep in mind, right? Fifty. This is fifty-five percent go tanks. Um, that's okay, but that's definitely I was hoping for less damage. But that is okay, right? That that's actually not that big of a deal. Anything under ten k. Um, after a super, like, no matter who you are, I think is fine. 
I think we are going to transform next turn with go tanks. Um, sure. Which will be perfect to have the Super Saiyan 3 next to him. But the, uh, I don't know, I, sometimes I think I shouldn't bring this guy. Because he just proves over and over again he's the best that you are in the game. Type disadvantage, double digits. He just proves it over and over again. And this Goku, man, he is so awesome. Like, look at this guy. He's putting out these three, almost four million attack stats, right, depending on the, which part of his passes are active. And this Gotenks hit 1.7. Alright, let's, let's do this with Kid Buu as the last attack in, in base form. And that'll be the judge, you know, the judge on uh, this base form. 2.0. So that is with pretty much all his links active, which are, you know, level one, but still all his links active. And that must be, yeah, he must have had his attack stats active and Kid Boo on rotation. That really should have been a lot higher. Should have been a lot higher, man. That ain't good. Um... There are no green orbs. I'm gonna do that. Nothing. <clears throat> it, it's tough to, to look at go tanks, you know, that's good here. All right, so here we are. We are going to transform. Ta-da! It's go tank. I think the only thing they did right was his animations. <laughs> I think the only thing they did right. All right, here we are. Super Saiyan 3 go tanks. Every link active. Yes, so with him, he gets every link active. Okay. Links are a little up, but not much. I mean, he is higher link levels than him, but it's not like... I, I don't think there should be like a 3 million difference between them because of it. So we'll get his full passive. This won't matter. Okay, we better see a good attack staff from Gotenks here at Super Saiyan 3. Wow. Been dodges a super attack. This fucking guy. Oh my god, he's got everything but a super. 3.4 from this guy. Ready? Alright, here we go. What do we got? What do we got? 3.2 from this guy. Okay, so we get some good damage at Super Saiyan 3 level. So that's his, I guess, redeeming factor. The problem is just you can't stay in this form that long. I mean, I guess you can. You're just losing out on some of his passive, which isn't the biggest deal. Um, we're gonna get Kid Buu now on rotation. I thought that would have healed more. I don't want to transform them. I'm just gonna pop this. And I want to get to the next rotation. Um, we're I'm gonna pull him back to the up again. I want to take a quick look. I because it's what it's just a chance to super attack to double super attack, which we didn't even get. Okay. Internet's not working, so I'm gonna do it in game. Fighters, we're still we're missing just innocence man. He does great okay, we, we greatly raise, so slight stacking mechanic here, so we should have higher now. So the only thing he loses is key plus three. 
and a great chance to launch a, an additional super attack. So the great chance to launch an additional super attack, not a big deal, I guess. The key plus three could suck. So that was turn one. This is turn two. I kind of want to play it out to get him to lose his passive to see, you know, just the difference. This is turn two with him. Plus, I want to see his attack uh, again because it's going to obviously greatly raise. Like, there's a pretty large difference between this Super Saiyan 3 3.2. There's a large difference in time between these two units, and it just feels like that Goku is like years better than him. Granted, we're not seeing the stun. There we go, 3.5. That's nice. We're not seeing the stun, but we're, we're gonna switch over into Super Battle Road in like two seconds. So, took a long time actually. Finally got the rotations. I'm in the second fight. It took so long to get the rotation. I don't have another healing item, so I'm not going much farther than this. Um, Chao Tzu was generous to give us the stun. We're just gonna see the kind of firepower that Gotenks as Super Saiyan can be putting up. You are really not getting Super Saiyan 3 because I was trying to force myself into getting it actually and I and I couldn't get it I can I beat the event before I could transform so yeah barely a mill he, he's just not going to hit hard he will have a great chance to stun like that that is his use they share a lot of links these two guys they're pretty good together if you use like Icarus and stuff like that like they will be fine outside of that I mean um it's underwhelming to say the least. Super Saiyan 3 go tanks, mwah, beautiful. But you're not gonna get him as your battle room. So, better for long romance. That is pretty much it to cover this guy, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know, you know, do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, I think his transformation conditions definitely could have been better. Maybe like he transforms turn three to Super Saiyan and then you can instantly go into Super Saiyan 3 whenever you want. That would have been, I think, a little bit better. Because then you could just pick and choose. And that would make him more versatile. Instead of having to wait. Because to go that many... To, to wait to turn 6 or 7 in a longer event sucks. Because a lot of them in longer events, you can't stun. So why would why are you bringing him? I mean, I guess you're bringing him to wait till turn 7. But there's just other units that you can bring. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Like, sub, all the cool stuff. Take care. Peace.